of the more interesting things we got to do today was have a professional rally driver, John Hoglin, actually in the car with us. I had John drive the car because I wanted to get an impression of what it was like for a race car driver to drive the 2010 versus the 2011. How do you tell how far your arm is supposed to be? Like this. Like that, okay. Yeah. Just uh, sitting with, uh, with my back into the seat, uh -huh. and stretching out my hand, just about that. Perfect. That's about right. We're in the 2010 car, so this is the, this is the older car. Yeah, that's just the older car, with, which not, without the latest suspension modifications. Okay. We thought this was very, very good until we get the new one, and that was better still. And you race these in Norway, right? Yeah, yes, we do. We have 20 of them for the Norwegian Subaru Cup. So I have to ask you, how does this compare to an Evo? Compared to Evo? Yeah. How is it better? You think? Why? Yeah, it's better because there's uh, less weight over the front wheels. Yeah. The Evo has the engine on the cross and the gearbox across in front there. Yeah. Which gives more weight on the front wheels and this is more better distributed to the weight distribution. How about horsepower? Is this enough horsepower you think? Ah, uh, this is uh, around uh, 300. Yeah. It's never enough. Never enough. <laughs> it seems like this car needs about 400. Well, the chassis is good enough for it, no problem at all. Now we're in the uh, 2011 model, yep. and John's going to drive it for us, and we're going to see if and how this car differs from last year's model. Thanks, John. Yeah. All right. Let's share. Okay, here we go. We don't need any traction control here. All right, so it's got the same engine. Yeah. But really the difference is the suspension setup. Yeah. This is more exact. You need to move the wheel less. Also here there's much less, there's no squeeze noise from the wheels. Go into the corner, put it in one position, if I'm the right line, it stays the whole way through. Yeah. And uh, that didn't happen with the old car because it was more flexing in the bushes and suspension. Yeah. So that keeps moving a little bit forwards and backwards all the time. And that meant you had to to correct that again in the steering wheel. I'm in Micah reporting for TFLcar.com.